Hey, it's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com here for kingmetals.com and today in this episode of our Back to Basics MIG welding series, we're going to go over how to tack weld like a pro. So you'll never have to worry about having those tack welds that come apart while you're trying to weld your project ever again. So let's get into it. Now the problem a lot of people have when tacking is that they don't tack it enough. You think, because you're afraid of getting too much penetration that you're gonna weld the thing together. But the problem is, is most people don't get enough. You have to have some kind of penetration. Now for sheet metal, what I like to do is I like to get a nice right angle with my tip. I don't have it curved, so I'm actually pushing metal, the, the, the puddle anywhere. I want it just straight down, and I actually go in a little circular motion. So I'm just gonna kinda do a little circle real quick and get that on there. And that's gonna make sure that everything is tacked on both sides. So you can see, first it off a little bit, I have a nice tack. It's definitely not gonna go anywhere. That's nice and sturdy. Now if I'm doing angled pieces, let's say for, for railings, where let's say I have a post, nice piece of little hammer tubing I got from King Metals there, and of course my favorite punch channel. Obviously this is going to come together like this, right? So if I'm going to be tacking in here, I'm going to do the same sort of, instead of a circle motion, I'm not going to do the circle motion, I'm actually going to do sort of a U motion and just get right down there in that corner and just give it a nice little U tack. And that's going to hold everything together. Now obviously I'd have this clamp together and everything nice and square if I was building a railing, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to hold it here. Get it in there. Nice little tack, moved around. And you can see, it's not too much. That's just enough for this, because I have all this other support holding this down here, because this is some channel. That's it for this episode. I hope that answers your questions, and I hope that makes things a lot easier for you in the future. Now, if you have any questions about anything at all that has to do with welding, design, anything like that, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as soon as we can in an upcoming episode. Now, if you want more great tips and tricks like this, come on over to theathomewelder.com, sign up for MIG Welding 101. It's gonna give you the five basic cornerstone techniques of MIG welding, but more than that, it's gonna sign you up for weekly tips and tricks on how to speed up the process, make things a lot easier for you, and also how to make some good money doing this welding stuff on the side. It's a lot of fun and a great way to get paid. So I'm Andy Fogarty, and I will see you again next time.